Welcome to the channel rather dubiously called Rufio. I'm the best Yugi tuber in my street, a very average player who uses this platform to trick you into thinking I'm good at and capable of playing Yu-Gi-Oh on any kind of level at all. Before we get started, why don't you hit subscribe for me, even if it's not because you secretly enjoy bad content, but because you pity me. I need every bit of help I can get. Hi guys, welcome to Rufio. My name is Joe. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome aboard. If this is not your first time on the channel, there may be something a little bit wrong up here. I don't know why you'll be back here with the fucking trash that we produce here. But thank you very much either way for being here with me. Today we're going to be looking at some spaceships, some <laughs> excitement of Cosmo, one of these cult classic decks that doesn't seem to want to go away every fucking regional in the world. You can guarantee there's at least that one guy doing okay with this deck for no apparent reason whatsoever. So today we're going to cover the basics. If it's one of those decks that you're really interested in playing, maybe just having a, a fuck around with, or maybe you've got that one guy at Locals that you don't seem to be able to beat who is always playing the deck, because it can be a little bit tricky if you don't really know what you're doing well this video is aimed to equip you to either play with or play against the deck we're going to give you a really basic outline we're not going to flesh out with all those crazy combos and stuff there are plenty of videos out there that will sort of give you some ideas but really the trick of cosmo is to just play the deck a lot and you'll get an idea of what kind of lines of play you want to go down again just some basics just an intro just a crash course we're going to get stuck right in for you now Cosmo debuted as a Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG exclusive in Clash of Rebellions back in August 2015, a set which included another TCG exclusive in Kaiju, as well as introducing the likes of Performage and Aroma into the TCG. The Cosmo cards draw their references from both Star Wars and The Wizard of Oz, which can be seen in a good chunk of their artwork. The Cosmo monster split into two types, the pilots which are psychic type, light and dark attribute, and the ships which are machine types. The deck has an uncanny ability to hop in and out from pilots to ships and so on, an effect that has seen the deck build a cult status and playstyle. The deck has been piloted at strong levels over time, winning and topping nationals, YCS and regional level events, testament to the power and strength at that particular time. So what is it that makes Cosmo so popular and how is it played? As I briefly touched on earlier, Cosmo has a really unique playstyle, hopping from smaller pilots into the bigger ships, and then the ships banish themselves from the graveyard if destroyed, to special summon or add cards to the hand. The deck is very good at recycling cards, and still has a lot of strength as a going second option. Unfortunately, they tend not to cope too well with going first in the modern game, but there's still a nice place for them as a rogue pick, which is currently capable of playing at regional level tournaments in the hands of a good player. The deck does have a lot of quick effects, which gives them a unique ability to interrupt at important times, making it difficult for the opponent to play properly, especially once the deck starts building up its resources. The deck does tend to stick to its own. This is one of the few decks where largely people will play the deck fairly pure, although it has seen some experimentation with the likes of True Draco, Fire Kings and Dinosaurs to name a few. Finally, one of the key things that makes this deck is so popular is the artwork, and despite this being entirely superficial, we've seen countless times where people opt to play decks based purely on how they look. I suppose, after all, what's more important than enjoying a deck whilst you play it, even if it is just to look at? Next up we're going to do a rundown of the Cosmo cards and what they do and then afterwards we'll talk a little bit about some commonly paired cards and the like. It's worth noting that the archetype overall is quite small so the options you have are actually fairly limited and so focus should be placed on building the deck correctly and improving technical play although these are lessons that could probably be applied to the vast majority of decks. Firstly, we're going to take a look at the Cosmo Monsters, covering the pilots first and then the ships. And as a quick note before we get stuck in, I'll be reading the effects somewhat in short, so we don't waste hours reading through all of these. As such, I'll be showing the cards on screen for your perusal, so you can read the effects in their proper, full effect and text. Although, given that we're all Yu-Gi-Oh players, there's a good chance you won't read a single fucking thing I put on the screen. So we're going to start off with Cosmo Tin Can. During either player's turn, you can banish it to special summon a level 2 or higher Cosmo Monster from your hand, you can only use this effect of tin can once per turn. Once per turn, in the end phase, you can pay 500 life points to reveal three Cosmo cards with different names from your deck. Your opponent then randomly picks one and adds it to your hand, and then the rest go to the grave. Our next pilot is Cosmo Strawman. During either player's turn, you can banish this card to special summon a level 3 or higher Cosmo from the hand, and you can only use this effect once per turn. 
Once per turn, you can pay 500 life points to special summon a banished Cosmo monster, but its effects are negated and you should destroy it during the end phase. We also have Cosmo Scaredy Lion. During either player's turn, you can banish this card to special summon a level 3 or higher Cosmo from hand. You can only use this effect of Lion once per turn. Once per turn, you can pay 500 life points, then return 3 of your banished Cosmo monsters to the grave, and then inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Following that, we have Cosmo Farm Girl. During either player's turn, you can banish this card to special summon one level 4 or higher Cosmo from hand. You can only use this effect of Farm Girl once per turn. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can pay 500 life points to add a Cosmo card from your deck to your hand. Next up, we have Cosmo Saw Troopers. During either player's turn, you can banish this card to special summon a level 4 or higher Cosmo from hand. You can only use this effect of Saw Troopers once per turn. Once per turn, you can pay a thousand life points and then special summon a Psychic Cosmo monster from your graveyard. Following on from that, we have Cosmo Goodwitch. During either player's turn, you can banish this card to special summon a level 5 or higher Cosmo monster from your hand. You can only use this effect of Goodwitch once per turn. Once per turn, you can pay 500 life points and then flip an opponent's monster into face down defense position. We also have Cosmo Wicked Witch. During either player's turn, you can banish this card to special summon a level 5 or higher Cosmo monster from the hand. You can only use this effect of Wicked Witch once per turn. Once per turn, during either player's turn, you can pay a thousand life points, and then during this turn, this can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. And lastly, for our pilots, we have Cosmo Dark Lady. During either player's turn, you can banish this card to special summon a level 6 or higher Cosmo from hand. You can only use this effect of Dark Lady once per turn. Once per turn, during either player's turn, you can pay a thousand life points to negate and destroy a monster that activates its effect. For our list of pilots, people tend to favour Farm Girl, Tin Can, Strawman, Saw Troopers, Dark Lady, and Wicked Witch. Next up, we're going to cover the ships. We'll start off with Cosmo Delta Shuttle. So once per turn, you can send a Cosmo monster from your deck to the graveyard, then reduce a monster on the field's attack and defence by its level times 100. If it's destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can banish it to special summon a level 4 or lower Cosmo monster from the deck. We also have Cosmo Slip Rider. If it's summoned, you can pop a spell or trap on the field, and if it's destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can banish it from the graveyard to special summon a level 4 or lower Cosmo monster from the deck. Following on from that, we have Cosmo Dogfighter. Once per turn, during the standby phase, you can special summon a token. If it's destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can banish it to special summon a level 5 or lower Cosmo monster from the deck. We also have Cosmo Landwalker. So if a Cosmo card or cards would be destroyed, you can destroy a different Cosmo card you control instead. If this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can banish it to special summon a level 5 or lower Cosmo monster from the deck. After that, we have Cosmo Forerunner. Cannot be targeted by an opponent's card effects. During your standby phase, you gain 1,000 life points. And if this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can banish it to special summon a level 6 or lower Cosmo monster from your deck. After that, we have Cosmo Dark Destroyer. If it's summoned, you can pop a monster on the field. It can't be targeted by an opponent's card effects. And if it's destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can banish it from the graveyard to special summon a level 7 or lower Cosmo from the deck. After that, we have Cosmo Dark Eclipser. It cannot be targeted by an opponent's card effects. During either player's turn, you can banish a Cosmo monster from the graveyard to negate and destroy the activation of a trap card. If this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can banish it to add a level 8 or lower Cosmo monster from the deck to the hand. And lastly, for our ships, we have Cosmo Dark Planet. Cannot be normal summoned or set, and must be special summoned from the hand by banishing Cosmo monsters from your hand whose total levels equal 10 or more. And it cannot be special summoned by other ways. It can't be targeted by an opponent's card effects. During either player's turn, you can banish a Cosmo monster to negate and destroy a spell card activation. If this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can banish it to add a level 9 or lower Cosmo monster from the deck to the hand. From these ships, primarily we see usage of Slip Rider, Landwalker, Forerunner, Dark Destroyer, and Dark Eclipser. So we start off with Cosmo Lightsword. Equip only to a Psychic Cosmo monster. It gains 500 attack and defense, and it can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase, and it also gains piercing damage. If it's sent from the field to the graveyard, you can pay 800 life points to add it to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. Next up, we have Cosmo Town. Once per turn, you can return a banished Cosmo monster to your hand, but you lose life points equal to its level times 100. Once per turn, you can reveal and shuffle any number of Cosmo monsters from your hand into the deck, and then draw that many cards. If this card in the field zone is destroyed by a card effect, you can add a Cosmo card from the deck to the hand. We also have Cosmojo. 
Destroy a Cosmo monster you control and banish a card in your opponent's graveyard. You can only activate one Cosmo Joe per turn. And then lastly, we have Cos Morning. Monsters destroyed in battle by Cosmo monsters you control are shuffled into the deck instead of going to the graveyard. You can banish this card from the graveyard the first time you take battle damage involving a Cosmo monster this turn, you gain that much life points instead. Primarily from these, Cosmo Town and Cosmo Joe are the only ones that see play. Normally as part of these videos I go over different variants, specific deck choices that people will use, synergy and also extra deck options, but ultimately there's no specific extra deck monsters for Cosmo and the choices of decks that Cosmo is often combined with are fairly limited and increasingly so, with Draco, Dino and Viking being the most prominent. For the next part instead, I'll discuss some of those options available to the deck to improve consistency and the ceiling of the deck, although this list isn't exhaustive, so don't take this as an absolute. As always, I'd advise a variety of playtesting and other videos to gain as much information as possible. So we start off with Cyber Dragon Infinity and Cyber Dragon Nova. These two are an absolutely solid choice for the extra deck, offering some nice power and utility when going first or going second, and they are fairly easy to make. It's worth noting that because of the diversity of the Cosmo Monster levels, Rank toolbox access is a common route to go down, especially since Master All 5 has allowed for greater access to this. Next we have Emergency Teleport. Have you read this card? It's wild enough outside of this deck. We also have Pot of Extravagance. Largely, the need for extra deck is fairly limited, so banishing these cards for extra draw power is a no-brainer. We also have Dragonic Diagram. In the variants that are running this engine, popping cards is a super ultra mega plus in this deck. When using Diagram, although access to this engine has been dampened with Diagram being hit to 1 and the ever increasing chokehold on field spell access. We also have Storm Dragon's Return. This card was made for Cosmo. It would be insane not to give it at least some consideration. The only downside? It's a trap. And not the cute kind. We also have dinosaurs. Well, why not cover it in one go? Ultimate Conductor is a big boy and he loves to pop shit, meaning that he can pop your Cosmo cards, flip all their stuff face down, and fire off all the Cosmo effects. And everyone last mention, we have the Fire Kings. Another one that just means free pops which trigger those Cosmo guys and gals and give another dynamic to the deck. So that is it for today's video about ships and pilots, one of the people's most favourite decks. Now you have an idea of how to fuck around with this thing, how to play with it, how to play against it. That was the idea, and hopefully that's what you're coming away with today. Thank you very much again for checking in, guys. If you haven't, you should definitely hit subscribe. This isn't the only type of content I do, but it is something that I would love to do more of. And if there is something that you would like me to cover, definitely drop it down in the comments or find me on any of my social media platforms. I am very easy to find out there, and there will be links down in the description if you want to go and look for those. Thank you very much again for checking in, guys. If you haven't already, you should definitely hit subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the garbage content I've put together for you. Enough to hit subscribe, and maybe even drop a thumbs up and a comment. Before you go, be sure to check out the links in the description to help support the people who are making this channel a possibility. Thanks again for checking in, and I'll see you in the next one.